guys, what is up, Bonks Basil here, and today, well, today, first of all, I have finished the two contracts we took out last time, so fields two and six, so that is good. Today, we need to get a second application of fertiliser on fields 28 and seven, so our three fields. Now, to do that, I'm obviously going to use our nifty little John Deere sprayer. However, you may notice the money's gone up from the end of the last episode by more than those contracts because what I didn't show in the actual video was I actually bought an HS8 sprayer support which I have subsequently sold. A newer mod has come out, the Missy B tankers. So, I am going to get the 25,000 litre one because I don't really need the 60,000 litre one. Obviously in John Deere colours. I do like that the way that it's metallic. Yep, fine. Purchase it for 26 grand. Yes. So that yeah, this will simply just help us to ensure that this that we have plenty of fertilizer for our sprayer. Get in our sprayer. £33,000, that is quite steep. I wonder if I pull up here and hit R, we start refilling off the tanker, that's good. Funnily enough, they would not take fertiliser straight away, so I have obviously, I have fast forwarded time. Uh, let's crank it back to five times, so I've obviously had to accelerate time quite a bit so we are much later in the day now and then tomorrow in game this crop these crops may well be ready for harvesting which would be awesome but anyway guys I will crack on with this spraying and then um, we will need to start getting some stuff ready for harvest Okay guys, we are coming down the far side of the field. As you can see, I've gone down. I did a the headland across the top end of there. And I'm now coming back across here. I might do another run around there or just and then I'll start just having to go up and down. However, this what we've done so far uh, will take best part of the tanks, then I'll obviously have to go back to the tender tank and refill refilling once again out of that Missy B fluids tanker don't miss a bit and then it will be a case of turning on running and getting the rest of these three fields sprayed so I will just crack on and see you when it's all done okay so that is everything sprayed I now need to speed back down onto the yard. I can safely do that in the field because A I don't have crop destruction on and B I've got cat tyres on so it's all good. You can sort of see the farm starting to appear. It's roughly what I'm going to set a beeline to. I think I'm going to be putting down the Missy B storage silo complex. But mainly because I can't see I can't see the one that I want to put down. Mm, there. This has been sitting here running the whole time, which is not good. I am going to refill it because um, might as well at least get a full load of this so yeah the whole fertilizing job was about 
18, 19 grand if you take into account what we have in the um, left in that IBC. Okay, first it's now first thing in the morning and time to get what we to make the changes that I want to make for this year's harvest. First of all, our two forty five foot draper headers are going for the modded ones, of course. With John Deere decals on. Buy a pair of them. Now I am gonna make that up because we're just changing to the modded ones, so sixty grand. We have one of these augments the So that's all good. We have our two super speedy headers down here. We obviously have our 790s in in the shed. So, oh, missed a bit down there. Now, this is what you call harvesting. This is going to be much more interesting to keep up with with the grain carts. I'll probably have to tone down the um, cruise control speed to 15, but somewhere between 15 and 20. But basically all I'm doing here at the moment is setting this field up for work so that then workers can successfully harvest it for me, which is what's going to be happening. And then I'll just be running grain cart duty I am just for ease sake going to take this corner out myself. And one of the reasons why I have modded these headers is so that then it takes me less time to do things like the harvest and things like that off screen. Like because I do quite a bit of it off screen to make the videos a shorter and be a bit more varied so that them it's not just oh let's have eight videos of 10 to 15 minutes long each of harvest because I try and vary things so I might do say two videos on harvest and then say two or three videos on something else and things like that instead of just constantly doing videos on harvest and then seeding and then spraying and then more spraying and then harvest and all of that. Now I wonder whether it will let me take this crop. That's interesting, it lets me plant it, it lets me fertilize it, but it doesn't let me cut it. Strange. Farming simulator, great logic there. Oh crikey, we're already 60% full just off these, this bit that we've taken here. I'll probably run a third headland back, and that will be it for today, you guys. So, next time, we go full speed, full steam ahead with harvest on here. Which probably won't be for a while, because we need to also go full steam ahead with harvest on Oakfield, and get the crop of soybeans in the ground on there, because that's on seasons and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you have leave a like get subscribed ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video socials are all down below along with some donation links if you want to donate please do always more than welcome for them so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one